Excellent that you're back again. We are going to talk about the third and the last law of the indices where we said, well, the general law is if I have a to the power m, but that, that is in brackets, to the power n, then that is the same as a to the power m times n. All right, so that's the third one. And I'm going to show you again why you do not have to be scared of this law. Yeah. And actually, it relates to the first law of the indices. Yeah? Remember the first law where we said if I have a to the power m times a to the power n, yeah, so those bases are the same, then the answer is a to the power m plus n. Yeah, remember that? That was the first law. Now, this is the third law. I'm just going to show you why that makes sense. Why do I multiply those indices when we're talking about brackets? Well, I'm going to ask you, um, or I'm going to show you by giving this example. For instance, x to the power 5 in brackets to the power 3. So that would mean, according to the third law of the indices, that is x to the power 5 times 3. So x to the power 15. That should be the answer. Yeah. And that is correct, by the way. But I want to show you why that is nothing to be scared of. Why you don't really have to remember that. X to the power of 5, to the power of 3. To the power of 3 means multiply by itself three times. So X to the power of 5 multiplied by itself two, uh, three times. Eh? To the power of 3. So 1, 2, 3. And then the first law of the indices says. You have the basis the same, you add the indices. Because x times 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 x is x to the power 15. Indeed. Now, I'm going to write it out every time? Absolutely not, because I understand if I'm talking about brackets, I multiply those indices yeah so let me grab a new piece of paper give you one or two more example uh, questions for instance um, y to the power 2 z to the power 5 and all of that to the power 4 yeah so that basically means y squared z to the power 5 times y squared times z to the power 5 times y squared z to the power 5 times y squared z to the power 5 yeah, but that is too much, even too, you know, it's too many letters. We don't like that. No, third of the indices. The answer is y to the power, 2 times 4, so 8. z to the power, 5 times 4, 20. Yeah, so that is the answer. Okay, I'm going to give you one more. Um, no, I'm going to give you two more because um, please be a little bit careful. Let's say 4, a to the power 3, b to the power 3, for instance, yeah? Now, you gotta approach these questions step by step, yeah? Just stay calm, yeah? Understand what you're doing. This means multiply itself three times, yeah? 4a3b times 4a3b times 4a3b. So, you're gonna start, and that is what most students forget. You're gonna start with 4 to the power 3. 4 times 4 times 4, yeah? That is 64. Huh? Your calculator can help you with that. Yeah? A to the power 3. To the power 3. That is A to the power 9. 3 times 3. And B. What is the index of B? Yeah, that is a 1. To the power 3. 1 times 3 is 3. Okay. So that is the answer. Now, a lot of students, unfortunately, just immediately write down 4, a to the power 9, b to the power 3. Now, hang on a minute. The 4 is also to the power 3. Don't forget that. Okay, very quickly, last one. Uh, what shall we do? Um, 5, a squared, b3 over, I should say, b to the power 3, by the way. Sorry about that. Uh, 3. Uh, what shall we do? Uh, x, uh, well, 3x, let's just put it like that. Okay, to the power, um, what shall we do? 2, let's not make it too difficult. Okay, so step by step, we do 5 to the power 2, which is 25. a to the power 2, to the power 2, that's a to the power 4, b to the power 3, to the power 2, that is b to the power 6 over. 
3 to the power 2, that is 9, not 6, it's 9, 3 times 3, and x to the power 1, eh, it's always to the power 1, to the power 2 is x to the power 2, 1 times 2, all right? Is there some sort of common factor I can get rid of? No, there isn't, so that would be my answer. Excellent. Example questions, next video. Let's go.